Greetings everybody, it's Monday the 4th of December and we're here in Advent. Let's pray. Jesus said to those who would hear, you don't know the day nor the hour. The Son of Man does not know the day nor the hour, only the Father knows. And so in a time of turmoil in history, Although, Lord, when hasn't there been turmoil in history? But we see it particularly worked out on our news screens. We know that somehow, in a way that only faith understands, Lord, that you are working your purpose out as year succeeds to year. And so we, in some ways, want to tune our ears tonight to hear the relentless, but, but in a way gentle, footsteps of the coming king one day that noise will be deafening but for now it is just a tap 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 on the door the trudge of a, a sound of footsteps coming cl closer and nearer we pray that advent would help us to be awake help us to respond help us to know that you are near and uh, make this time of evening prayer a sense of nearness with you by your spirit that we might abide in you as you abide in us and we ask these prayers in jesus name amen so we're turning now from the sunday reading which was in the gospel to thessalonians first thessalonians and uh, uh, not just but but thessalonians is an epistle about watching and about readiness uh, and so on and in fact you know in, on another occasion we could talk a lot more about how St Paul was kind of telling them off for, for lazing around because um, they thought that the imminence of Jesus's arrival um, meant they didn't have to do things but yet they're still watching they're still ready so tonight's reading is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and the first seven verses. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 Paul, Silvanus and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of our God and Father, knowing, beloved brethren, your election by God. For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and in much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became examples to all in Macedonia and Achaia who believe. Uh, later on, uh, right at the end, we'll hear a Graham Kendrick, right, they sing along, uh, a Graham Kendrick song, Rejoice, Rejoice, Christ is in You, uh, one of my favourite uh, modern worship songs. And... Um, uh, Graham has a line in it that says, uh, building a kingdom of power, not of words. Um, uh, and if I, I wouldn't want to interfere with any of Graham Kendrick's lyrics, you understand. Uh, I think the nearer truth is building a kingdom of power, not just words. Uh, it's not that words aren't necessary sometimes, but it's not words on its own. And so I want to think each night with the Thessalonian letter, of an action for Advent. Um, get, if we were to imagine, as I said on Sunday, that the time is short. And today's is uh, to remember to move in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is a ministry we have, a witness we have, that is not just about our words, but about the revealed power of God. Jesus came in the power of the Holy Spirit. That's what it says about his ministry, that he didn't operate out of his own strength. He called upon the strength of the Holy Spirit 
And we, it has been said, are little Christs. That's what Christians means, really. We belong to him, we're little Christs. And therefore, what was good enough for Jesus should be definitely good enough for us. And uh, therefore, action number one is in all the things we think about doing, move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Well, let's hear that hymn now and then I'll pray afterwards. We thank you that uh, you are at work in us, as the hymn said, your purposes to perform, building a kingdom of power, 
not of words, not just words. So help us as we go into this week, and we have all our encounters, conversations, we meet people in the street, we deal with people at work, we phone people up, we have conversations by email, by Zoom. Help us to think not just, well, how can I res respond in language, in, in sentences, in, in words? How might the Spirit lead me now? What might I do or pray? How might I act in his strength? And we pray for those today, especially those Christians who have got tired in the work they do. Maybe they're working for the church, maybe they're not, maybe they're just in trying to live out their discipleship and it seems like all the energy has gone from it. And we call upon you, Holy Spirit great reviver of our lives and our faith come upon those even on us when we struggle when we seem like we're pedaling uphill and let the wind be behind us the wind of your spirit pray for those today who are sad who are struggling because they have lost somebody and it is as if all the life has gone out of them as they have lost somebody else Revive them, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Let us live in your power. And we make this prayer in your name, Jesus, as you taught us to pray, as we say the modern version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those that sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So, I'll see you again tomorrow for more out of 1 Thessalonians.